The Barn Theatre Club presents The Mysterious Death of Christine Wilde. Lynn, darling, it's so wonderful to see you again. Likewise, Carol. It's been far too long. Quite right. Please sit. You simply must tell me what's been happening in your life lately. Well, I'm taking a well-earned break for now. I've been involved in a good many shows these past few years. And then I'll be working on a musical early next year. Oh, how lovely, darling. It certainly sounds as though you've been a busy little bee. How about you? What have you been up to? Well, just last week, the final curtain came down on Summertime Blues. Very successful production. Rave reviews, you know. It had such a long run. So demanding. I'm utterly exhausted. Clifford and I are planning a nice long holiday in Europe. We go in two weeks. I can't wait. I've been working on one production after the other since, well, I don't know when. Clifford, yes. How is he? Oh, he's fine, just fine. Kelvin and Samantha, are they well? Oh, yes, both married and off our hands now. <laughs> Thank goodness. How's Kate? Fine. She's just got engaged. Oh, wonderful, darling. I came up especially for the party and she's wrote me into staying a few days. Good for you. Oh, can you believe our children have grown up already? God, where's the time gone? Where indeed? It seems like only yesterday we were working on time of our lives. Remember? Mm, how could I forget that? What a wonderful experience it was. Very much so. <gasps> I'm so rude, I haven't even offered you a drink. Martini? Yes, please. <clears throat> Are you receiving? Oh, I'm terrified you'll notice the wire. Do you want an olive? Yes, please. Uh, no, thanks. Here you are. To the past, the present and the future. Cheers. Cheers. Getting back to time of our lives, do you ever think about it? Now and then, but I'm far too busy to spend much time on past productions. No, no, I mean the murder. Oh, that. Well, it does cross my mind sometimes, I suppose. But don't you ever wonder who did it? It was rather strange the police never found out, don't you think? I suppose it was. Another one of those things in life destined to remain a mystery. Poor Christine. Such a waste of talent and beauty. <laughs> Poor Christine, my ass. What? She was nothing but a two-faced cheating bitch who got exactly what she deserved. Shame on you. How can you say that? I thought you two were friends. Friends? She didn't know the meaning of the word. Thirty years ago, I thought she was my friend, and for a while, we were actually quite close. We even made a pact in the beginning. I'm so happy right now. Everything's going incredibly well. I can hardly believe it. And you, dear Carol, are my best friend in the whole world. Thank you, Christine, and you're mine. The two of us are going far, all the way to the top. I, I can feel it. And when we look back, we'll see a glittering path of success and glory. What wonderful stories we'll tell our grandchildren one day. Carol, promise me we'll always be friends. Let's make a pact right now. OK, let's do it. As our hands are joined, may we stay united in friendship forever. For all eternity. United in friendship, she said. But all the time, she was betraying me. First, she managed somehow to take the lead role from me. She pleaded innocence, said it had nothing to do with her, that it had been the director's decision the two of us swapped roles. 
slept with him, no doubt. She was so convincing, I actually believed her. She even asked if I'd help her with some of her lines, and silly, naive me obliged. Imagine helping her with a role she stole from me. How young and stupid was I. I didn't realise things went so bad between you. And that's not all. Evidently, the lead role wasn't enough for her. She also tried to get her claws into Clifford. Some friend. Tell me about it. She wanted it all, you see, even if it meant trampling on good friends to get there. That must have hurt terribly. I can well see why you might have... Lynn, what are you saying? Nothing. It's just... Let's just say, if one of my friends had treated me the way Christine treated you, I might have been tempted to... Well, I didn't. But heartiest congratulations to whoever did. What a wicked thing to say. You can't mean it. I most certainly do. I'll never forget the day I went to Christine's dressing room to run through some lines with her. I was a little early and burst dramatically through the door as always. It was a joke between Christine and I to burst through each other's dressing rooms uttering a dramatic phrase. And there they were, Clifford and Christine, all over each other. Uh, uh, Carol, uh, I, I was... Uh... I would don't even try to explain. I'm not blind. Carol, I, I'm so sorry. Don't. Uh, let me explain. Oh, don't bother. You two-faced, backstabbing bitch. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> cow took everything I had and I was a fool for letting her. But at least you have Clifford now. I do, don't I? Fortunately he came to his senses after Christine's death. I remember it didn't take him that long either did it? It was obvious Christine was a passing fancy and you were always going to be his one and only. Of course I was. After all, we'd been together for over a year before Christine came on the scene. And you're still together after all this time. Yes, isn't it wonderful? Of course, back then he needed a lot of consoling and I was there for him. I still fondly remember how we got together again. It wasn't too long after Christine's death. We sat talking about all that had happened and then he told me he was still in love with me. There you are. What are you doing in here? Oh, the uh, the dressing room door was open. I couldn't help coming in. I, I can't for the life of me think who'd want to do such a terrible thing to Christine. And why? Even the police don't have a clue. I guess we'll never know. Don't upset yourself. Let's just be happy that we're still alive. It could have been one of us, you know. I suppose you're right. Why are you even talking to me? After what I've done, don't you want to be as far away from me as possible? None of that matters now. I just want to see you happy again. I still care, you know. You do? Yes, Clifford, I do. I'm so... Sorry for what I did to you. I've been an absolute prat. Can you ever forgive me? Yes, I can. Carol, will you? I mean, can we start over again? Will you take me back, please? Um, I will. Thank you. I love you, Carol Kane. I always did. And there I was, ready to forgive and forget. And after that, you got the lead role back as well. I was rightfully mine, as was Clifford. Quite convenient, Christine dying, don't you think? You're very blasé about it. Oh, no use getting upset about it now, darling. It happened 30 years ago. I suppose so. 
Do you have any theories as to who could have done it? Not a clue. Come to think of it, when Christine became the lead, she wasn't very popular among the cast or backstage crew. It could have been just about anyone. Do you have any suspicions? No, not really. Whoever did it was very meticulous in making sure she, or he, wouldn't be caught. You think it was a woman, do no, you? No, I don't. I really have no idea whatsoever who was the culprit. Come on, Lynn. You said she first. Usually one says he or she, but you started off with she. So you obviously suspect the killer's female, don't you? OK, I'll tell you. I think it was Doreen, the wardrobe mistress back then. Doreen! Why on earth would you suspect her? As I recall, she had very little to do with Christine, other than seeing that her costumes were ready and that sort of thing. Still, I suppose it's not impossible. It's just a thought I had, really. You know, a jealous woman, confined to the backstage sort of thing. You're, you're right. It must have been her. I do seem to remember an occasion when she was arguing with Christine over a costume that was dirty or something. I don't remember anything like that. Oh, you wouldn't, darling. You were having your makeup done at the time. I was in the passageway, just outside Christine's dressing room. The door was wide open, so I saw and heard it all. It was quite ugly, actually. I think you're on to something, Lynn. Do you think we should call the police and tell them? Good grief, no. We haven't any proof. Besides, I don't really think it was Doreen. I was just... Just what, Lynn? What's that sticking out of your blouse? It's nothing. I'm wearing a black bra. Oh, a black bra under a white blouse. A bit odd, don't you think? You... <laughs> You're wired! <gasps> you actually believe I killed Christine, don't you? And now you're working with the police. This isn't a social visit, is it? You came to get a confession out of me. It wasn't my idea. Please believe me, Carol. They wrote me in. They... they, they... Lynn, how could you? I didn't want to. I really didn't. They approached me and, and they, they forced me into it. I said no. Honestly, I did. I can't believe you think I do such a terrible thing. I'm completely appalled. I don't. I didn't. Yet another dear friend betrays me. <laughs> Why? Now, that was a truly great performance. <laughs> That's right. Run away quickly with your policeman friends. Fancy thinking you could fool me, Lynn, dear. Nobody fools the great Carol Kane. Especially not one as inept as you, darling. So, they've reopened the murder investigation. How inconvenient. Well... They could prod and probe all they like. They'll never solve the case. That should do for now. Fifteen minutes. <clears throat> right. Now to do my breathing exercises. Oh. <sighs> 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 <coughs> Christine. <coughs> right. No pulse. So clear the evidence, replace the spray bottle. Done. You thought you had it all, didn't you? Well, now you have nothing.
they'll have to give me the lead back now. Naturally, I'll be very consoling and terribly sympathetic towards Clifford until he falls into my arms again. Everything will go my way from now on. My name will be remembered forever by millions of fans all over the world. <laughs> Five minutes! <laughs> Better get going. Once I've disposed of the poison spray and my rubber gloves, not even the best detective will have a clue as to who did this. You should have known better than to take what doesn't belong to you. Ah, oh, yes, Christine, dear. I have indeed known such success these past 30 years. I will forever be remembered as the truly great star of the stage that I am. And you, dear friend, will go down in the history books as yet another mysterious cold case. <laughs> That was The Mysterious Death of Christine Wilde by Leanne Gill. Carol Kane was played by marie Jose Zobier. Lynn Summers was played by Dreen Leg. Christine Wilde was played by Miranda Lockery. And Clifford Dunn was played by Stephen Alexander. The stage manager was played by Jan Stewart. The piece was directed by Karen Holly and produced for the Barn Theatre by Gareth Forber and Mandy Witt. If you have enjoyed listening to this radio play, please support us by following the links on our website to make a donation.